What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's Simon from Grand's Lawn Care. Friday, April the 10th. I'm sorry, May the 10th. I'm trying to take us back to April. Friday, May the 10th. And as you can see, I'm out here trying to knock it out before the rain returns. Because, guys, if you've been paying attention to the weather, Mother Nature has been unleashing a wrath lately. She has been releasing a wrath across the country especially out in the midwest and the southeast so if any of you guys have been impacted by any of that severe weather um my heart goes out to you i know that really doesn't fix or make better you know what has already taken place but guys truthfully honestly i feel for you guys hopefully things work out hopefully you know if you were severely impacted, you know, you got the right resources to try to help you get restarted with everything that may have been lost. So again, just want to take this moment to say to everyone affected by the severe weather over the last few weeks, especially the last couple of days up until today, I really truthfully hope that you can get things back, restarted, you know, picking up from what's left from the, the violent tornadoes, the flooding and everything like that. Hopefully, you know, you get your prayers answered and you all working together to pull through the trouble time. So taking that moment again, my heart goes out to you guys and I wish you the best.
So guys, y'all pretty much know how it goes. I got a couple topics I want to shoot out there. Get your feedback down in the comments. So let's get to it. So one of the things that I have been dealing with and it started in the beginning of the season, then it finally leveled itself out. Well, let's just say that same scenario has yet again began. And the scenario I'm talking about is I'm having issues with a customer that is on and off the schedule and it's not by their particular doing, but to break it down, to not even really beat too much around the bush. For those who do commercial properties, you know that if you established under one group of management in the beginning, and things are leveled out and smooth and you know everything's clockwork payments you know scheduled mowing services and everything is on a clockwork schedule everything's peaches and cream well we all know that once management is changed at the top that's when the issues for the lawn provider can either non-exist or become a thing well in my particular business right now it's becoming a, a problem and I'm trying to wear my patient's hat you know on my head right now and trying to see through the issues that are going on because things happen granted I, I understand that I'm of the age now understanding that things happen things change you have to you know go with the change and adjust or just get left behind but what I'm getting at is at this point now being that it has happened back to back within the same season I want to know how some of you guys that are seasoned will handle that um, I got the phone call well, pretty much a message stating to not, you know, cut XYZ property until further notice again. So I reached out to get answers and I got the answer and it's pretty much management. So, like I said, I'm wearing my patient's hat and those two properties bring in a pretty decent amount for me, you know, on the scheduled service days that I go to them. So, what I'm wanting to know and it's not that I want to really implement what you comment below but I just want to see and hear your different viewpoints and different explanation as to why you would do what you would do in this situation would you continue to keep them as a customer or would you say hey you know I got to open those spots up I gotta see whether if I can make some additions to my customers in your place and if things work out i'll just have to reschedule you because like i said maybe if it's one or two properties that's still an income that is not coming in because of management it's not per se the property owners it is the overseers of that of those groups of individuals so i just want to know what you guys would do if you have as much patience as i'm having trying to let them iron out all of the kinks and get things you know in a pretty much level situation would you give them one more go around or would you on strike two just be like hey you know i'm just gonna have to take you guys off the roster right now you know if you guys are still interested being on my you know my mowing route let me know once things are truly ironed out because right now the, the back and forth and the confusing is kind of slowing down your business on that particular mowing day because your route is set up to go to those particular businesses and when they cut you off unexpectedly out of the blue once you think things are already you know smoothed out and pretty much in stone for the season they throw you off so just let me know would you keep them would you give them a strike three and you know have you ran into situations like that and how have you handled it 
So that's topic number one, guys. Let me know. And I'll stress this again. Do not be negative in my comments. Be positive. We're here to help one another grow and learn in lawn care business. So guys, the next thing I'm thinking about is I'm still in the middle of trying to pretty much learn still a lot of the ins and outs of marketing and I'll put it to you like this. I'll just pretty much put it out there. There's a project in one customer's yard that I'm kind of hesitant to ask about just because I don't really know rather if it's something that they really even care about at this point because one of my customers yards you, know, you can tell they're into flowers and you know flower beds and bushes and rose bushes around the house well I can see from once I started you know taking them on as a customer that that particular area of their yard where they had the old flower bed has just really deteriorated and you can tell you know it's just something that they don't have the time to take care of anymore so in my mind I'm, every time i go there with the narrow bi-weekly customer i want to be like hey you know i noticed this area in your your yard especially it's in the front yard at that that i wouldn't mind actually you know for a fee sprucing it back up you know rather if you want to put mulch back down or you know turn it back into a flower bed like how it was in the past you know just to you know give your front yard that that facelift but i'm at the same time i'm still in the process of trying to learn you know the ins and outs of you know doing that type of stuff i mean granted yes it's, it's easy stuff you know you get your weeds out you clear the the area of the grass and everything like that rake it up you put down your you know your weed kill treatments and everything so you won't have the grasses and the weeds growing in the flower bed messing up the beauty but in my mind you know i'm still on the fence because i've listened to how a lot of people price how they do their moats you know by the yard or maybe by the hour or by the bag or whatever the case may be so i'm still in the process of trying to figure out you know rather or not if i want to bite that bullet and make that a project of mine and i kind of feel pretty confident that it would not be a problem because in the neighborhood that they're in i don't see why they really wouldn't want you know their lawn to to stand out you know have that extra you know pop to it you know people pass by and say you know not only is the the lawn manicure cut pretty good but they also have a pretty nice flower bed in the front yard that's that's also well maintained so Guys, let me know what exactly got you to the point to where you said, hey, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jump out here and tackle this type of project and, you know, make it happen for people. Let me know down in the comments exactly, you know, rather if that's something you do or let me know why you you don't do it, if that's a service that you don't offer. Um, there's a channel on here that, man, I'm telling you, the guy really has me inspired by every time I look at his channel, he's doing some type of, of project. Rather, if he's throwing pine straw, rather if he's doing mulch jobs, rather if he's doing cleanups, or rather if it's just flat down, you know, mowing lawns. You know, the guy, you know, he's not, not much younger than me. I'm not very old, and he's not very much younger than I am before. His age and his mature level and what he displays on his channel I'm telling you, he motivates me to want to step out here and start saying, hey, I'll do a pine straw job or, hey, I'll do a flower bed or, hey, I'll do a moats job. You know, there's a couple of them out there that I watch that will motivate me. But this one in particular channel, man, this guy, and I, I mean, he and I talk, you know, frequently. He definitely motivates me for what he's bringing to youtube and to instagram what he's bringing and the content that he's putting out there and the positive vibes that he's bringing out there man it really motivates me even on the days that i just sometimes don't feel like being tolerated with you know doing lawn care business you know sometimes you just need a day to breathe from the business 
I'll turn on YouTube and when this this young fella drops a video, man, I'm, I just watch and listen to what he's saying and listening to his experiences and I bounce out of that little that little move. You know, sometimes you need a little pick me up from someone. And it doesn't matter, you know, their age or whatever the case may be. There's somebody out there to pick up everybody's spirits, especially when they're having, you know, a little bit of a down day or things are just not going, you know, 100% in the direction they want to. So guys, let me know in the comments if you made it so far in the video, how'd you talk yourself into those projects? I made a video on, you know, actually adding additional services to make more income. So I just want to get a little bit more feedback on that as to what do you guys actually do once you get out here and set yourself up for another set of projects once you get into that line of, of tackling such activities you know? so just drop it in the comments let me know i'll be about to wrap this video up So guys, if you made it this far, I, I'm, I'm going to ask you that same favor again. Did you like the video? If you did like the video and was entertained by the topics that were talked about, give me a thumbs up. Absolutely free. Totally helps out my channel. Let me ask you one more thing. Have you been a returning viewer to the channel and you haven't hit that subscribe button? Man, I'm telling you, it's easy as one, two, three. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification if you want to be notified when I drop a video and content. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm trying my best to drop a video weekly to keep you guys entertained. Hitting that thumbs up, hitting that subscription button, hitting that bell helps my channel. All of it is totally free. Guys, this helped my channel grow as I'm helping you guys' channel grow. What I try to do myself personally is once I come across a new lawn care channel, and it's really something that's standing out to me. I'll let them know in the comments, hey, you got a new sub as of today. You know, can you do me a favor also if you're not subscribed or haven't viewed anything on my channel? Hey, return that favor and return the love. So guys, hit that thumbs up if you like the content. Subscribe if you're a returning viewer to every video and just have to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. So guys, this is Simon from Grand Salon Care checking out of here on this Mother's Day weekend. Guys, be safe. Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers out across the world. And you guys enjoy your time with your families. Until next time, guys, this is Simon from Grand Spawn Care checking out of here. Peace. Enjoy yourself on the, over the weekend once again. And I'm out of here.